Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be making these super adorable resin shakers. To change it up a little bit and to stay within the theme, I thought I would leave these resin shakers as dry shakers so they could rattle. The molds and pigments in this video were kindly gifted to me by Fun Showcase. So what I'm doing here is I'm first painting in some details on the molds using acrylic paint. If you use this method to paint in the details, you'll want to use a decent amount of paint to avoid the paint pulling away from the edges. Once the paint had dried, I poured in a thin, clear layer of epoxy resin. Here I'm using liquid diamond epoxy. Because these molds have a lot of grooves, especially the chip mold, pouring in a thin, clear layer of resin first gives me a lot of control at avoiding air bubbles. This way I can see them and gently remove them. A few hours later, once the clear layer of resin had thickened up and got tacky, I mixed up more epoxy, this time alumilite resin, and mixed in my pigments and glitters. Twenty-four hours later, the charms are ready to demold. Now, I didn't add the footage showing me popping the air bubbles with a lighter, but it seems that I spent too long with the lighter over the resin because two of the molds melted and fused with the resin. So this is just a reminder to never keep a lighter or a torch too long on resin or else it will melt and ruin your molds. Then I use some more acrylic paint to make some final details pop out.
One tip I have when painting a bigger area like I am here is to mix your acrylic paint with a little bit of water so that when the paint dries it will have a smoother finish. After screwing in the eye pins, I chose the bits I wanted to put inside and sealed it with UV resin and shaker film. Since I wanted these shakers to be dry shakers, I also made sure to add some UV resin to the pre-made holes these molds have to seal them so when it came time to doming them, the resin wouldn't seep through the holes. Four hours later the dome had cured and all there was to do was add the keychain clips and these little cuties turned out so adorable unfortunately the little sheep ended up with a few bubbles stuck in its face but we can just pretend that they're air pimples So what do you guys think? Be sure to comment down below which is your favorite and if you guys have these molds. If you guys enjoyed this video then please hit that like button and if you would like to watch more resin videos or learn about resin crafting then be sure to check out these videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!